Today's read aloud is The Emperor's New Clothes. Listen carefully to find out what the characters in this story pretend to know. Many years ago, there was an emperor who loved fine clothes. Fine means very good or nice. He did not care for hunting. He did not care for plays or opera. He was no lover of gourmet food or wine. His only ambition was always to be well-dressed. He had a different coat for every hour of the day. He loved to walk about and show off his fancy outfits. One day, two strangers arrived in town. Who do you think these people are? What are they doing? They were swindlers. But they said they were master weavers from a faraway land. A swindler is someone who tricks people. Weavers are people who make cloth. Why would the men pretend to be master weavers? They told the emperor that they could weave the most beautiful cloth in the world. They said that not only was their cloth beautiful, but it was also magical. It was specially woven. So the swindlers set up two weaving looms and pretended to be weaving their wonderful cloth, but they had nothing at all on their looms. Do you think the magic cloth like this really exists? After a few days, the emperor grew curious to see the cloth. If the emperor was curious, it means he wanted to find out more. At first, he thought he might check up on the weavers himself. But then he remembered what they had said. Only intelligent people could see the cloth. He was confident that he was smart. There could be little doubt of that. But what if he was not? What if he could not see the cloth? Just to be on the safe side, he decided to send his prime minister to have a look. The prime minister is an important advisor to the emperor. He is supposed to be very wise. What do you think he will see? He is very intelligent, said the king. If he can... The prime minister squinted and rubbed his head. He did not see any cloth at all, but he did not dare to admit it. Why does the prime minister see nothing at all? That would mean he was a fool, so he pretended to see the cloth. Yes, said the Prime Minister. It is most beautiful indeed. I like it very much. Keep up the good work. Does the Prime Minister tell the truth? Why is he pretending that he sees the magical cloth? The Prime Minister turned to leave, but the second swindler called out to him. Wait, don't go. You must not leave without touching the cloth. I think he will be impressed. Impressed means that he will admire their work. Do you think he will be impressed? We were just saying this is the softest cloth we have ever created. 
The Prime Minister hesitated for a moment. Then he said, Of course! This is terrible, he thought. I don't see anything at all. What can this mean? If the Prime Minister saw the cloth, it must be there. Then why can't I see it? Am I stupid? Am I unfit to be Emperor? That would be the most dreadful thing that could happen to me. But out loud he said, It's magnificent, truly magnificent. Why, I have never seen cloth so lovely. Why does the emperor pretend to see the cloth? Shall we go ahead and make you a suit then, your majesty? Yes, yes, by all means, said the emperor. You can get my measurements from the royal tailor. Remember, a tailor is someone who makes clothes. The two swindlers sat up late into the night, pretending to work on the suit. They wove more invisible cloth. What does invisible mean? They cut the air with scissors and stitched the wind with threadless needles. Other noblemen came to inspect the cloth, and all of them pretended to be able to see it, for they did not wish to appear stupid. Soon the whole town was talking about the wonderful cloth and the emperor's new suit. At last, the day came when the emperor was to wear his new clothes in public. The two swindlers presented themselves in the emperor's dressing room at daybreak. the first swindler holding up an empty hanger and here are the pants said the other holding one hand in the air what do you think of them all of the emperor's men agreed that the new clothes were splendid the emperor took off his clothes and the two swindlers pretended to help him put on the make-believe garments slip your right leg in here your majesty oh that's not it now you left Good. Now I must tell you, these pants are not like regular pants. The fabric is so light and airy that it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. But that is the beauty of them. The men helped the emperor put on the imaginary clothes. Then they led him to the looking glass. Oh, how handsome you look, your majesty, said one of the swindlers. All of the courtiers nodded their heads in agreement. The emperor marched out of the dressing room and made his way to the palace, followed by many advisors and servants. He marched down the main street of town with soldiers and bodyguards surrounding him on all sides. Why won't anyone tell the emperor that he is going for a walk in his underwear?
the streets were lined with great crowds. Everyone had heard about the emperor's new clothes, made of magical fabric that only the wise could see. <gasps> How lovely the emperor's new clothes are! one man said. And how well they fit him, said a woman. None of them would admit that they could not see a thing. Why don't the people say something to the emperor about being in his underwear? The emperor marched through the street, bursting with pride, showing off his brilliant new suit to everyone in the land. Much to his surprise, they all seemed to see what he could not, and so he was not going to be the one to tell them. Just then, a young child stepped out of the crowd and cried out, <gasps> He hasn't got anything on! Is the child telling the truth? A hush fell over the crowd. For a few seconds, nobody said anything. Then everyone began to whisper, The child is right. The emperor isn't wearing a thing. Then people began to giggle and laugh as they cried out, <laughs> He hasn't got anything on. At last the emperor knew he had been tricked. He tried to march back to the palace as proudly as ever. Why do you think the emperor continues to walk through town? What would you do? But he was blushing from head to toe as everyone could plainly 